<laughs> All right, so we're looking at safety hazards in the lab. What's our first one, Ron? Know about hazards. Uh, make sure you're informed about the hazards you're going to encounter in the lab. Who's got two? <laughs> we should know emergency protocols before they happen. Three. When in doubt of emergency uh, hazardous materials, ask. There we are. When in doubt of hazardous materials, ask. Ask. You never know. You never know. You never know. You don't. It could kill you. <laughs> Food or drink? Not in the lab. You never know what could get on top of your cup or inside of your cup, on the outside of your cup. You're never sure. Ron, what else shouldn't we do? No smoking in the lab. No smoking in the lab. Shoes. All right. Correct footwear. Thank you, shoe model. We want to wear correct <laughs> footwear in the lab. Uh, TC. Appropriate clothing. So long pants, good shoes. Usually a short sleeve shirt so you don't get it stuck underneath your lab coat. Good. All right. Uh, over here. Andrew. We're doing horseplay. What are we doing for horseplay? Shove each other. No horseplay. Shove. <laughs> no horseplay in the lab. Did you actually break something? All right. Lab coats. <laughs> here, we're going to have dude come in here. <laughs> No unauthorized personnel. This is Guy from the lab, from out in the hallway. I don't even know your name. Sorry, what's your name? I'm Tyler. Hi, Tyler. Yeah, you can't come in the lab. You're not yeah, authorized. Not authorized. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's okay. Lab coats. Who has lab coats? All right. Lab coats must be worn with eye protection. Good job. And when you leave the lab, take off, take off the lab coats <laughs> because we don't want to track hazards that got, were on your lab coat. We don't want to track them around your home, the rest of the school. So we leave lab coats in the lab. Very good. Chad, we're going to, like he's demonstrating here, wash my hands. Wash your hands regularly before and leave. always wash them before you leave. You don't know what got on your hands. Even if you had gloves on, bacteria love to grow underneath your gloves. It's a nice sweaty environment for them. Read chemicals? Not sure. But we want to read the chemical labels carefully before we use them. There we are. Read labels carefully before you use them. You don't know what's hazardous or what PPE you need until you read the label. Read and understand procedures. Read and understand the procedures before you do it. So here, Becky's going to uh, do, use a conductivity meter. So she's going to read her procedure before she does it. We want to minimize the use of sharps and then dispose of them properly. Dispose of sharps properly. I made that one. We're going to clean up spills right away. Oh no! She spilled something on the bench. She's going to clean it up right away using whatever proper procedure for that chemical. In this case, water and paper towel. <laughs> All right, we need to label everything. Here's our queen of labels. <laughs> Label everything. Yes. Uh, all workers must be familiar with the safety equipment. <laughs> Anna. So locations, emergency equipment. There, there it is. I hate to say it. it's not on the wall. It fell off at the beginning of the semester. <laughs> all right. I didn't anticipate walking around the room so much. <laughs> we want to use the fume hood uh, in case any, you're using any volatile, organic, uh, toxic, or flammable material. 
make sure that I uh, use it in the fume hood to uh, reduce exposure to the vapors. Record everything in your lab notebook. Write down everything in your lab notebook. And here is Anjanette's notebook. Always report accidents immediately. Well, I don't have that one, but report accidents immediately. And of course, labs should be. There we are. And labs should be off limits to unauthorized personnel. Thank you for our guest visitor. Thank you, Second Years, for making this fantastic video. Yes. Don't light stuff. Thank you. All right.